Okay, welcome everyone to the IPFS All Hands Call for July 30th, 2018. Uh, light agenda today. Um, looks like starting off is just me, where uh, I want to address that we're supposed to be switching off the host every month. That's what we had talked about. So I'm interested in seeing if anyone wants to host these meetings for next month, if you have the availability. Uh, we have an outline for what that entails. And I've posted that in the chat there, if you want to take a look at it. But um, we don't have to settle this right now, but if, if anyone is interested in hosting these next month, please reach out to me, preferably over Slack, and uh, we can get that sorted if you have any permission problems or, or thing uh, questions. Uh, we can just go ahead with that. Um, looks like there's a notice for the D-Web Summit in San Francisco this week, which um, is just going to mean that the, I'm assuming the majority of the team is going to be unavailable as they'll be at the event. Uh, not sure if anyone wanted to speak on that specifically. Okay. Oh, Matt? I, I guess I can just speak this. So the Decentralized Web Summit is going to be this huge event that's happening in San Francisco. There's going to be about like over 700 people there. Um, we're we're giving, I think it's like over 20 presentations about IPFS are being given by people who are active contributors to IPFS. Plus, like I don't actually know how many other presentations are being given by people who built stuff with IPFS. There's at least 10 of those that I know of, but it's like the schedule's so big that it's, it's, it's been hard to, to keep track of. And all of that is going to be like multiple rooms are going to be live streams. And then those live streams will be archived in the internet archive. So it's just going to be like this gigantic amount of information about decentralized web as a whole, but also um, a huge amount of stuff about IPFS and what people are doing with IPFS is going to be coming out in the next, um, over the next three days. This is, uh, there's a, smaller pre-event that the Internet Archive is doing tomorrow, and then the big event is on the 1st and 2nd of August. So um, this, today's Monday. So yeah, Wednesday and Thursday are, are going to be this just like giant onslaught of information. Um, and then, sorry, I haven't had a chance to load the schedule because I was having audio issues, or the agenda for this call. Is there a separate agenda item for the lab day? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so <clears throat> immediately after the Decentralized Web Summit, which is Wednesday and Thursday, then Protocol Labs is hosting a uh, what we're calling a lab day in San Francisco. The purpose of that lab day is that, that all of these people who've come to the D-Web Summit to present about their work, a lot of them are only getting like five minutes to present their work in the, because this just event is so jam-packed. So we're, we're doing an additional day where people are going to record longer versions of their talks. Um, and so the, the, we'll be putting out all of that information as well. So it's just going to be a gigantic amount of information coming out. That's a great that question. Yeah, so that lab day, is that on Friday? Uh, yeah, that, that's on Friday the 3rd. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm actually going to the, the summit. And so I was going to come back on Thursday, but I'll change my flight cool. if it's uh, worth attending. If it gives me some information, that'd be great. Yep, I can do that. And also, I'm actually... Um, there's a, the DID, the Decentralized Identifiers talk that's going on. Um, and uh, I'm trying to get on, on that. I think as Protocol Apps is sponsoring it, so if you, Matt, if you can help me actually get as far as a speaker on that panel, it'd be great. So this is a, a panel that's happening during the D-Web Summit? Yeah, so yeah. Decentralized Identifiers, basically the, the DID spec, like the IP ID that I, I created. And uh, yeah, we can Kalia is, uh, is, is, is moderating it. We can follow up about that one. There's been uh, a lot of these individual, all the individual panels are being organized by individual people who sort of have okay. 
their own leeway over who they're, who they're putting on their panels, but I can, I can try to connect you with those people and yeah, try to get a plug in for me. Cool. cool. All right. Any more on the summits that we have in lab days? David? Uh, very quick. Um, so I just posted a link to the lab day. So if people want more information about the location and schedule up soon to be added, uh, you can find there on the, that website, lab-day.com. And uh, one of the things I want to say is, uh, yes, like the team will be out for most of the week and lots of things will be happening at the summit, but pretty much all the talks will be recorded. And one type of session that we've been preparing is workshops. And so out of this summit, we are going to have new workshops on building distributed applications and also understanding IPLD that we design them to, um, so that they can be reused by any IPFS meetup or people can even just like run through them at home. Uh, so I know like a lot of us, a lot of people in the community have been looking for more materials to like really get up to speed on IPFS, IPLD, with peer-to-peer, dApps, identity, real time, et cetera. And, and what I can say, I'm really excited to like finally publish these because a lot more people will be able to like get their hands dirty and start building stuff through these materials. Um, they will be online by the end of the week. All right, good stuff. Look forward to seeing all the video and documents on this. Um, I'll, I'll, like post a link, I'll post a link to the schedule for the web summit in the agenda or in the notes. So, because then if people want to follow along, a lot of it's going to be live streamed. Sounds good. All right. Um, it looks like we have no more agenda items. We have a demo from Mache. Um, if you would like to share your screen, go through with it. Um. So uh, testpureids.tk is this uh, tiny service I built, and it basically generates a bunch of peer IDs in advance and has a simple um, API for retrieving them. And the purpose of all this is to basically quickly get uh, peer IDs that have a big key size for testing. And uh, all of these are unique. For example, this one is uh, answer of an age. This one. Yeah, that one also ends with an H, but it has 3K. <laughs> Bad luck, I guess. Um, so the service, I built this because I got fed up by generating a bunch of peer IDs for testing. So I built this tiny application that generates all of them in advance and basically makes everyone's life easier. It also has 16K IDs. Um, so if one needs a 16K key instantly, this is uh, a way to get one, but I do not recommend using that in production because, um, well, uh, letting other people generate your, case, uh, your keys isn't really safe. So uh, don't use it in production, but use it for all other needs you have. And that's basically it. Any questions on that? David? Uh, I, have, I have a comment. This is pretty cool. Um, we have been talking about like generating a pre, pre, bunch of pre um, like peer IDs to make exactly tests faster. I feel that Matchy went like the full like just brought all of the weaponry to to make this happen because he made like a full service. Where uh, given that we are going to use these for tests, uh, probably just like having an npm module like something that users can install and like use it programmatically would make more sense given that like, if we want to make things faster, then like, we should not have a, an HTTP request on the middle. Like, um, we can just like, have a module that like, as soon as you require, you already have like, a bunch of keys that you can use for your tests. Uh, totally agree that like, definitely do not use an external service to get your peer ID, because that's your private key of your node. Like, you, you don't want someone else <laughs> to have your private key. Um, but, but yeah, like, pretty cool. Well, let's get those tests faster. Uh, probably not necessarily the full HTTP API service, the module, but like I guess, like that work is already all done here. Uh, we just need to to add it to the tests. Um, also about uh, the IDs uh, using them locally, I created another module called AGR Key Cache, and that module um, runs a local HTTP service that after um, 
generating an ID, it stores that on disk. And uh, this allows the speed up test because if uh, 20 IDs get generated in the next test run, they will simply be loaded from disk. And the HTTP API is uh, necessary for storing them on disk because the browser can't do that. All right, any more questions or comments on that? Looks like no. Uh, I wanna thank Mache for always filling our demo block. Very appreciated. Um, but that's looking like it, unless anyone has any last minute agenda items or demos that they would like to say. Uh, Aaron? Hey, yeah, just wanted to introduce uh, us we, uh, from Diffio. Uh, we're looking at using IPFS to build um, decentralized search and kind of intelligence gathering uh, capabilities. And so we're new to the community, just wanted to say hello and introduce ourselves. We're uh, planning to just kind of um, stop by and, and kind of keep tabs with what's going on uh, as we're looking at um, starting to build stuff. So, yeah. Very cool. Glad to have you. Uh, Matt? Did you, did, did you post a link to your project in in the agenda. Um, yeah, basically. yeah. Um, so I can post a link to our uh, company, and we we don't have a ton of things published yet about um, our kind of move into the decentralized space. We started off um, have kind of a been been around for a couple of years now, and are just starting to look at building a protocol and, and a token potentially and things like that. But uh, I'll post a link to our company. Great. Which reminds me, we're trying to get the <clears throat> awesome IPFS up to date. Um, because Davi, did you did you want to announce the, the that website? It's so exciting. Yeah, yeah. That, thank you for the reminder. Um, so we now have an exciting website that basically lists everything that uh, people or tries to list everything that people have been building with IPFS, and that goes from I'm I'm putting here the link on Zoom chat. Uh, it goes from apps, articles, tools, videos. Let me actually just can share and scroll that for you. Um, there you go. So you probably can see my screen now. And like, we have this really nice website, awesome IPFS. It's inspired by the awesome lists. And, and you can like find apps, find articles, um, tools, videos, you can search. Um, for example, here you can find things like Orbit or like basically anything that's listed here. Uh, if you're looking for like a, a cool thing to show, like a, an example of like what you can build with IPFS, you have a lot of them here. Um, we welcome everyone to help us fill this list. Uh, it is still a growing list. Uh, it has a bunch of stuff already. And the way to add something here is simply by going to this repo, IPFS slash awesome IPFS. And previously, this was just like a normal readme awesome list that like has a list of everything that has been added so far. But now, if you follow the contributing guideline, uh, basically explains that like if you add something to this data file, um, and like it can be an article, app, uh, tool, video, uh, and you can do that very simply by just like adding a title, a website, a source, a description, a picture. Um, and when you do that, uh, it will automatically generate the readme. So I can do update the readme and, and then uh, it will uh, generate a new version of the website that also is live on IPFS. So if you want like to carry this website around with you, you can using IPFS. And as I said, like the list is already pretty big, but like there is so much stuff that is not listed here. So if you have an app, like um, if you are building a product, uh, if you have a, a library, uh, a service to generate peer IDs, and you, if you think like it fits well in this page, definitely consider adding it. Um, it'd be very cool if we could have like a, a full like constellation of all the things that people are building with IPFS. So I've stopped my screen share and yeah, back again to you, Matt. <laughs> Well, did people have questions about that before I show another thing that's related to it? Okay, please do post your stuff there um, because we're going to be recommending to lots of people this week that they should look at it uh, with all the C web stuff. So if you if you want to make sure your stuff gets fe featured, add it to the awesome IPFS. Now, related to that, here I'll post this link and then I'll share the screen. Um, 
there's a thing that's going to be sort of going to be premiered at the the summit in one of the sessions this week. Um, and this, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, so this is a project to map the decentralized web and <clears throat> um, it's still sort of an alpha, so it's, it's, it's a little bit hard to show. But what it, what it is, is it's also, just like Awesome IPFS, it's actually driven by a GitHub repo where you add, you add JSON files about your project, and then it's rendering this map of all these projects and how they're related. So there's IPFS, and then there's all, like Protocol Labs, and LibP2P, and Matrix, and shows the projects that are using IPFS, like Interplanetary Wayback, um, this is one of the things that it's giving this weird pop-up that hides the thing you're trying to show when you hover over it. Um, so it's, it still needs a little bit of work. Um, but that's also another place where you could post your, post your um, information about your projects. Um, but it's already got a lot of IPFS stuff in there. Um, that's uh, an idea of something we could do with the information that's going into awesome IPFS. We could also kind of somehow transform it into this map. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a it's a new thing that's um this group Digital Life Collective have been working on over the past few months. But yeah, that's my announcements. <laughs> Very cool stuff. David? Uh, quick question. How can we add stuff? Is just like a pull request to some repo or an yeah. email address? Yeah, let me, let, me, let me pull up the, um, there's a form and there's, here, I'll post into the chat my notes. You can, you can update the entries or submit the JSON directly. So you can either submit the JSON to this GitHub repo link there, or you can fill out this form that I've linked to that's a, <laughs> a Heroku app that generates the JSON for you and emails it to the maintainers so that they can then review it and sort of clean it up for you and then PR it for you. Um, so I, like, I found that I didn't really know what to put in the JSON first, so I had to use the form a couple times. And then when I saw what the IPFS one looks like, now I can just like, create my own JSON list. All right. Um, looks like we have a couple minutes left for comments, uh, calls for help, or anything else anyone wants to raise. Um, if no one has anything to say, I think that's going to be a successful meeting and we can adjourn. So uh, look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye-bye.